dentist recommended whitening toothpaste. So you know I don't love whitening toothpaste because they're kind of abrasive. However, there are some that are pretty low on the toothpaste abrasiveness scale that I might recommend. So even though I'm wearing pink, it's not good for this chart. You wanna be in the green or the yellow. Um, you could find this chart on my Instagram in my link tree. I don't have enough followers yet on TikTok to have that uh, feature to link. But this chart is telling you how abrasive these toothpastes are on the dentin of the teeth and also the gums. So if you look here, what I always recommend is a Pronamel. I love this one. It's like one of the best toothpaste. It has like the lowest, what is it, RDH? Not RDH, RDA, relative dentin abrasiveness. Um, but there are some whitening ones down here. There's an Arm & Hammer sensitive in whitening. Um, but take a look at this chart and you'll be able to see if the toothpaste that you want is going to offer you whitening plus gentleness on your teeth and gum. Now there's some people that say that your toothpaste, if it's gonna be whitening, needs to have uh, hydrogen peroxide in it. My thought on this is there's not enough hydrogen peroxide at a high enough concentration that's going to be on your teeth for two minutes that's going to get any significant whitening done so if you want to whiten your teeth toothpaste isn't the way to go um the best way to do that is with like a crest white strip or in office bleaching with a dentist so check with your dentist before you do any of that but this is a great chart for toothpaste